I'm waiting for the airplane to pass. <laughs> I'm in Venice, California, and not too far from the airport, about 20 minutes. So anyway, I'm surrounded by gorgeous flowers, pink roses that remind me of all that I did with my mom last year. This is the week um, that she passed a year ago on August 13th, and I keep getting signs that she's around. Um, these pyrosantha clusters, those green berries, we used to love them, and pink roses, and I was checking out getting these at the market, and there was French music uh, CD sitting there, and we had been to Paris together, and that was probably our very best time together. So she's with me, and that's that's really good news because she taught me a lot and I get to share a lot of that with you the things she taught me when she was alive the things that she taught me in her passing and all of the goodness that's been happening since she passed it's definitely intense um, as many of you know uh, losing a loved one but there are so many gifts and blessings and we just need to think about that and I'm happy to say Herbie's doing really well he's going to be 86 on October 14th and he is having a grand old time so we'll have him on soon he's still doing the raw vegan thing and he looks 20 years younger so check out videos with Herbie and right now I just came back from the gym and lately I, what I do in the morning is I bring a bottle of water to the gym. I make a gorgeous coffee, chocolate tasting tonic with reishi mushroom, eucomia for my joints. I make, I'm, I'm coming out with my tonic recipe book soon, so you guys don't worry about the recipes. But, um, you know, I put in reishi, I've been putting in pearl powder for my nails, and they're really strong. And so I go with a water and a tonic, and when I come home, I'm usually pretty hungry because I've been running again. I'm really psyched to say I'm running at least three miles a day, and I feel so happy about that. I feel like I only run when my spirit feels like my feet need to move, and it has lately, so that's a really good sign after a year of not running. And so I've been coming home and having a salad. So I started to do that. And I have a little avocado in it. And I put dulse lately. I'm just so attracted to eating dulse, pieces of dulse in my salad, which is iodine. And then I thought, you know, I got these organic mangoes. So what I'm going to do first is make a smoothie. And then in about an hour and a half, I think I'll have some greens. But Jada, my daughter, loves. Uh, the smoothies that I've been making in my Nutribullet. So um, people say, why the Nutribullet? It's easy, it's fast, it's quick. Rinse it out. I don't know. I just love it. I'm very happy with the Nutribullet. So for her, I need to put, for me, I'm fine with bananas that aren't frozen and mango that isn't frozen and putting green powder in and putting, you know, bee pollen in and putting different superfoods. Um, I usually put schizandra berry into her smoothies. That is an important one because it is, it tonifies all three treasures. And the three treasures are your chi, which is energy. A lot of people know about energy, but if you don't have good jing, which is like a container or like the solidity, the vessel uh, to hold the chi, your chi could be all over the place. So we wanna have strong, good jing which is like the vessel. And then we also want to have good Shen, which is spirit. So Shizandra does all, it enters all 12 meridians, all three treasures and nurtures all five elements. So it's funny, like it's, it's pink and it's berry and it's got a strong kind of um, tart flavor. So I love to add it to fruit smoothies. So I do that for her, she doesn't even know. And actually, she's been fine with me adding kale and spinach lately, which is really exciting because she was normally not into that. So for her, I don't have any frozen bananas. Usually I keep bananas on hand. I let them get really, really ripe. And then I go ahead and freeze them so I have frozen for her. So what I did was I pulled out some frozen fruit. I have frozen peaches, which will give it... For kids, usually it makes it a lot more palatable to have it frozen. Um, when things are colder, they have less of a strong flavor, so the greens will be less detectable. And I will cut up some of this mango, this fresh, beautiful, organic mango. Please be careful when cutting mangoes. They have been known to be dangerous. They're slippery and unwieldy. So 
There's nothing wrong with having salad for breakfast. It's delightful. If you're moved to have salad for breakfast, do it. Um, I'm a huge fan of that. I listen to my intuition, and lately I've been wanting to have, you know, more fats, even though it's summer, and I, you know, last summer I was just into mostly fruit, and now I have some fruit, but I do have a lot of avocado. I have been having a lot of coconut oil. They're beautiful fats, but for some reason, maybe because I'm using my brain so much, writing my books, and doing a lot of, you know, more brain-oriented things. Uh, in the past, I was doing a lot of activity, you know, a lot of gym, a lot of biking, and so now I have a nice balance of both. I'll put some of those in, and I'm going to add some spinach for her, and I can use almond milk, which I don't normally do, but for kids, maybe. You know what I will do? I will add um, water, and then I will add a little bit of hemp seed. Okay, so I took down from my tonic bar shelf some freshly ground vanilla bean, and this batch is from Essential Living Foods, I think, and Look up ground vanilla bean. I'm using hemp seeds. There's a beautiful way to make things creamy. Good essential fatty acids, which help our nervous system and our brain function. So that will be nice for her. A little schizandra, maybe a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. It's so pretty. Before you blend, it looks so lovely. A pinch of salt is always nice. Minerals helps uh, regulate the adrenals uh, and water balance in the body and also brings out the sweetness in the fruit. Uh, it's nice to add some dates too. She like I have dates that were pitted and ground up so that makes it easy for smoothie making. can add more spinach after blend it a little bit. I just feel like it blends so well and it's so it's less expensive than having a bread mix so for those of you who don't want to spend all of that hmm she's going to love it. It's perfect. So this is for Jada, my daughter, and then I'll go ahead and make a salad in a moment. Okay, so I thought the smoothie was fantastic. And what's happened is it's been a couple days of um, Jada having less than the amount of fruits and veggies that I recommend. So what happens with anyone is that when we start to eat a lot of cooked food and we don't have as much fruits and veggies, then they become less palatable. So that's pretty much one of the reasons, one of the big reasons I eat a predominantly raw food diet, if not close to 100%, because I know that by adding cooked food in, the cooked food wants to take over. It's, it's something that happens. It's like this catch-22. You can't get out of it, and this stuff becomes less palatable. So I like the raw food to be palatable all the time, and it's just how I like to eat. So I know, especially with kids, when they're not getting enough vegetables in, like I see it when she's with me for a couple weeks and it's a lot of fruit and veggies and then she goes off to be with her dad and the food's different and she comes back, I have to reintroduce and it's harder. If you stay consistently eating a certain amount of fruits and veggies, it's, it makes it so much easier to stay that way. So it's funny, now I have my salad out. And I have the mango, and you know, a lot of people when they eat a low fat diet, they'll eat fruit during the day, a low fat raw vegan, they eat a lot of fruit during the day, and then at night they have their beautiful greens like I have here. And on the low fat raw vegan diet, I would be eating maybe a quarter of an avocado a day, which is not a lot of fat. So a lot of times what they do for dressings, because fat isn't, you know, it's only 10% fat of your diet, 
A lot of the times the dressings could be a mango, tomato, I have recipes for that, low fat dressings, but you would take mango and tomato and blend that up and have that with your salad. And that is how they dress salad with lemon juice and, and maybe I like a little bit of cayenne spice. Um, so I'm thinking about that right now, about what to do. And I think that I will probably, for the sake of ease, is just cut some pieces of mango into the salad and then go ahead and have some tomato in the salad so I don't have to blend it, which I could easily blend it. It's not a big deal to make a dressing. It's just what you're in the mood for. Do you feel like fussing or do you feel like cutting up beautiful food and eating it? It could be as simple as you want raw food. It's just eating mango or it could be a little bit more complicated mango and greens or you could go ahead and make some dressing and you can go ahead and make raw vegan pizzas and desserts there's so many things you can do so it really depends on what food you have available how much time you have available what you're craving what you need but if it helps you to stay raw and it helps you to have some of the things like you know for me when i started my no bean hummus was like really essential and if it helps you to have a dehydrator then go ahead and do that because then you know I have some friends my you know who who are concerned about winter fall and winter coming up and with a dehydrator you can make my cauliflower popcorn and go ahead and have it in a dehydrator or a zucchini dish or different things and warm them up so that it doesn't have to be cold and so this is really nice what I'm doing I'm kind of pleased with this and this was not my plan I am going to be adding a little bit of salt. Those who are following an 80-10-10 or low-fat raw diet would not be adding the salt, most likely. Um, how do I feel about that diet? I think it's fantastic. I think you have to eat enough calories. I think that you need to, um, in my opinion, I would mineralize with things like Shilaji and different um, supplements to help mineralize my body but um, it's certainly an amazing way to detoxify and lose weight if you want to and have an incredible amount of energy um, like I said with everything else it depends on your needs and who you are and how active you are so you wouldn't want to eat a really high fruit diet and not move your body um, we need to move our body anyway so what I say to people is go with what you feel like you should be doing. I want onion. I say, I say, hold on. I say do what's right for you. Nobody can tell you, right? Mm. That's a peach. Okay. I thought it was mango, so it was a little surprising. It was like frozen in my mouth and not nearly as good. So we have our tomatoes, beautiful orange cherry tomatoes. I have zucchini out ready and my julienne, my burner V slicer, which is one of my very favorite tools in the kitchen. It's about 40 some odd dollars. I have it on my website and it really has just saved me. It makes such fast, easy food. Just like this. I like when it's yeah, a little lower. I like it to be a little thicker. Um, but what a good way to get all your vitamins, all the different colors of the food. You're getting your phytonutrients um, live, fresh. What do you want to be? If you are what you eat, do you want to be colorful like tomato, zucchini, and mango, and live, and juicy, and fresh? That's how I think about this food. You are what you eat. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to be gorgeous today. So, I get so happy. I think I'm even like, use the, but you know what I need? You got to use, when you use the V-slicer or any mandolin, I really recommend a cut protection glove because that way if you get co close to the blade, you're cutting you're cutting the glove, not your hand. This is so great. I love this tool. This 
This is so pretty. Look. So I'm going to add lemon juice and I think a little bit of olive oil. Because I feel like that. Squeeze. Super easy. I'm going to sit out in the sunshine and have my lunch. And a little bit of I love this olive oil, olive flicks. It's my favorite. There we go. Tablespoon. Bon appetit, everybody. I just really recommend you eat this first. Don't worry about giving anything up. Just eat this first and see how you feel after. You'll want very little, if any, of the other thing you think you can't live without. So I will see you soon and get your greens on.